Yes, guys, welcome back to Kosi's Arsenal podcast. My name is Kosi. How are you guys doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in all parts of the world. I know uh, people watching from Africa, UK, um, Indonesia, wherever you are, I do appreciate the love. First and foremost, before we get into, into any reports, thanks for subscribing, people. We have reached 20,000 subscribers. It has been you guys who have done it. Like I said, I can't do this. I can't, I can't, I want to reach 50,000 subscribers by, by January. That's my target, but I can't do it. All I can do is do the content. You people subscribe and give me the like. So thanks everybody who has subscribed so far. It is 20,000 subscribers and I'm really grateful. I'm so, so grateful. I don't know how I can express my gratitude, but I'm very grateful. So if you're new, continue subscribing and always tune in at exactly 5 p.m., 7 p.m. and 9.30 p.m. Uh, for the daily live shows. Of course, uh, before that time, we'll be doing the uploads on a daily basis. I'm here to discuss reports that Arsenal is up for sale. Stan Kroenke is being believed that he's going to be selling Arsenal. According to the Daily Mail, they have said that... Uh, the club has been up for sale for the past two years and uh, Kroenke is willing to listen to a 1.7 mil billion bid. 1.7 billion bid. So we're going to be discussing the res those reports and trying to uh, look at uh, uh, how, 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 how baseless are they or how true are they. We shall also look at um, uh, reports suggesting that Schalke offer one to sign Sid Kolasinac or Said Kolasinac uh, on a permanent uh, on a permanent deal or on a longer deal, um, as opposed to the short term deal they took him on um, in the January transfer window. So we're going to be discussing more of that. Let us start with the Stan Kroenke um, reports that he wants to sell Arsenal. He eventually wants to sell Arsenal uh, after confirming his uh, you know his commitment um, just a few days ago that he wouldn't actually want to sell. Now according to the Daily Mail. They are saying that Arsenal are reportedly uh, on the market despite Stan Kroenke um, insisting only days ago that he would not listen to offers for the club. Spotify co-founder Daniel Ek, a Boyhood Gunners fan, expressed his interest in a takeover last week with the club's legends Thierry Henry, Dennis Parkham and Patrick Vieira believed to be backing his bid. This prompted American billionaire Kroenke to release a statement saying he is 100% committed to Arsenal and will not sell any stake while echo has been underrated by the hands of warning um it's uh, it has emerged that arsenal have e eventually been up for sale for the last two years this is where it gets interesting uh according to the uh, the mail on sunday reports the mail on sunday reports that Cronky sports and entertainment were approached by an international financial consortium in 2019 rather than rejecting the approach outright the claim the report claims the int um the interested party were told were told kse would consider bids in the region of 1.7 billion um at the revelation that arsenal are on the um are on the market comes as Kroenke faces increasing backlash from fans for their um for his role in setting up the European Super League, the the, uh, the 73 year old was appointed one of the four vice chairmen of the uh, controversial breakaway division, which collapsed within 48 hours of its unveiling. There we go. Now the, the, the mail are saying Arsenal is up for sale. Where, where we should start, I think, is back in 2019 because this is where it gets more interesting. In 2019, KSE, Kroenke Sports Entertainment, were approached by a financial consortium, which has not been revealed up to this point. And uh, KSE said they would sell Arsenal, they would agree to sell Arsenal, if the financial consortium came in with 1.7 billion. Let's get this right. If they came in with bids in the region of 1.7 billion, uh, they would sell Arsenal. Of course, I don't know whether our value has increased because according to Forbes, now the club is uh, is valued ar at around 2.1 billion. So probably um, you know the value has has increased from 2019 uh, to 2021 where we are now. So what does this mean? Probably it means Ek has a chance because for him he said he knows it's not going to be easy, but he's prepared a bid around 1.8 billion and he hopes kse 
hear him out. Cronky said last week that he doesn't want to listen to any offers. He's not going to sell and blah, blah, blah. Now, the Mail on Sunday released a revelation that the club has been um, up for sale for the past two years, 2019 and 2020. Remember, um, before that, it was Aliko Dangote who, can, who, who had come in um, and he said, you know what, I, I want to buy Arsenal in 2021. We don't know what actually happened. Is, you know, could, could Dangote be the financial consortium that, that, you know, that had approached Koronki in, in, in 2019? There's a big question there because all of a sudden, when Arsenal is now under more pressure, uh, when Kronk is under more pressure of selling, you don't hear anything like Dangote. You know, his name is so uh, far away. But remember in January, uh, there were reports that he was going to meet with Kronky or he wanted to meet with Kronky in the summer to, you know, to talk about buying Arsenal and so on. So there are so many questions there. Why is everything so quiet with Dangote? Is he the consortium that wanted to buy Arsenal in 2019? I mean, I'm just asking myself. And then, what does this mean for Daniel Ake? Because when Kronky says, I, I, I'm not selling, I think it was midweek last week, all of the Arsenal fans were like, it's over. Kronky doesn't want to sell. Now, the mail are saying that in the, for the past two years, this club has actually been up for sale. 1.7 billion, 1.8, 1.9, 2 billion. That is the region in which the bid should actually uh, carve out. So there's a big question there, and, and, and there's a lot to understand here. Is Arsenal up for sale up to now? The Kronkies are, are saying publicly they are not selling. The revelations that are coming in from inside are revealing that yes the club is for sale so we have to wait and see um in the next around six or seven days we expect daniel egg to come in with, with a big bid uh around 1.8 or 1.7 billion so if if the bid comes in we need to listen and watch um the reaction of the crunkies are they gonna take in the bid are they gonna you know uh with the bid because if they take in the bid then that only shows you that uh, the, 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 the the statements we are not selling are only meant to rise or raise uh, the price tag because they could also want that um, last week we saw from, from 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 the athletic that it would only take an astronomical bid to, to, to buy us or to, to persuade the crunkies um, into selling so probably they want some big money they want some offer that is not um, refusable. They, they want an offer that, you know, that, it, that, that will be good enough, that will entice them. But the pressure is there. The fans have put a lot of pressure. Um, and if we drop out of the European Super, uh, the European, um, the Europa, the, the Europa League, and we don't go into the, uh, into the UEFA Champions League, that means Arsenal will have made less money, so much of less money, because, you know, you don't have money uh, for qualifying for Champions League. You don't have money for qualifying for Europa League. You literally, your, your position in the league has been ninth or 10th. We shall have made l very, very less money. Remember, we have played a whole season without, uh, w without fans in the stadium. So it's, it's all about jazzy, uh, jazzy revenue, uh, training kits, and, um, and, 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 and some merchandise the club is selling. And TV rights. That is the money our crunk is gonna be looking at. So probably, and and, and look, we shouldn't play, uh, pray for our club uh, not to not to qualify for Champions League because all of us want uh, Arsenal to the top. But it's 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 like a double sword. It's like a double sword. You think about it. If Arsenal qualify for Champions League, Cronky has a bigger reason to stay. They're gonna give him the money for qualification, and every game he plays in the Champions League. Um, every stage he goes to is going to get lots and lots of money. However, if we do not qualify for Champions League, which God forbid, you know, it shouldn't happen because we want, to, uh, we want the Europa League trophy. But if we don't qualify, it means Kroenke makes, make, makes less and less money and the club could actually have more chances of getting out of his hands. The big question there is, as an, as an Arsenal fan, which is your side? Do you prefer we do not win the Europa League Kroenke, you know, Kroenke gets more reasons to leave. Or we go into the Champions League with Kroenke um, getting more reasons to stay. Um, he's promised us to, 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 to invest in the summer. He said that uh, he's going to have big investments and, create, uh, and bridge the gap between the fans and, 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 and the ownership. We all wait for that. But as by reports, the club is up for sale.
I hope it's understandable. Now, uh, there are also reports coming in from Germany, um, according to Ru24. Um, they're saying that um, Ru24 report that Shark offered uh, sporting director Peter Noble um, is in talks with Sad Kolasinac over keeping him for a longer for longer than his initial loan spell from Arsenal, uh, though their discussions haven't reached a conclusion yet. The club's plan is certainly to keep Kolasinac and follow um and fellow January uh, returner Klassian Huntela, uh, but the defender is still under contract with Arsenal. And Drew 24 report he receives a salary over eight million, described as far too much for Shark 04. As a result, uh, and we have mentioned, and as we have mentioned in the past, Kolasinac will need to make serious financial um, uh, concessions to finalize his exit from the North London uh, club back to Germany. So, uh, Kolasinac leaving Arsenal. On a permanent deal should we cancel his contract i think that's the, that's a very big question i should ask the cancel his contract in my uh, in, in my opinion yes we should um i don't see any reason as to why you know he, he stays at the club this season no i don't see any reason um why he stays at the club you can cancel his contract you can sell him for some you know for, for, for some cheap money as as long as you make sure he leaves the club and i think that's what Arsenal one and i think ed will work on that so those are the two big reports. Sid Kolasinac staying at uh, living for uh, Shark 04, of course, staying there because he's been there on loan. And also Stan Kroenke putting this club for sale. My name is Kosi. Thanks again for 20,000 subscribers. And I'll speak to you in the next video. Make sure you hit the like button because I'm going to speak about Chavez Bisuma in the next video. I know you have heard the rumors. We're going to discuss Chavez Bisuma in a bit of a detailed report.